Hi, welcome in. July 21, chosen and called. Moses said to the Lord, please, Lord, I have never been a skilled speaker. Even now, after talking to you, I cannot speak well. I speak slowly and can't find the best words. Exodus 4, verse 10. When God asks us to do something, our first instinct is often to look around at who we feel could do it better. We wonder why God didn't choose that person who in our eyes is clearly more qualified than we are. God could have chosen anyone to be his mouthpiece and his leader for the incredible work he did with the Israelites. He picked Moses. He knew what Moses' strengths and weaknesses were before he called him and he still picked Moses. God, I don't want to question you when you call me. I don't often feel qualified enough to do what you want me to do. And yet I can't ignore the call that you have on my life. Affirm that call to me now so that I can do whatever it is you ask of me. Moses said to the Lord, Pardon your servant, Lord. I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. Exodus 4 verse 10. Do you ever feel like God shouldn't have picked you for something? Do you think it would have been smarter for him to pick someone who is more creative, more intelligent, or more eloquent? You may not understand why God picked you for a certain task, but you can trust that when he calls you to do something, it's because he knows that you are not only capable, you are the one he wants to do the job. Lord, tonight I look ahead to the calling that you have entrusted to me. You didn't give this to anyone else, you gave it to me. I believe that you work things out for my good and for the good of others around me. Give me confidence to continue in the good works that you have given me to do. What are you doing right now that you see God has called you to? What is he calling you further into?